All right, guys, Unfazed Gaming back again with another GTA Online glitch video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get modded rims onto your MOC. Now, I know I'm a bit behind with this glitch. It's just that every single person who's posted a video of how to do this has done it on PlayStation. And the Xbox steps are a lot trickier. Uh, obviously, everyone's made it look really easy on PlayStation. But there's a reason why no one's released an Xbox video, and that's because it is quite difficult to do. So I've put together this video as a bit of a bit of a Xbox method, but obviously this does still work on PS4. So to do this glitch, you are going to need a friend who has already got a modded MOC. So my friend has got one with 3D paint on it and some modded rims. Obviously, we can't get Benny's rims on Xbox just yet. So he's just got some sports rims on there or high-end rims. I can't remember which they are now. Now, you're also going to need to have a friend who's in a different targeting mode. Now, a few people were saying that you needed the same bunker. I've not actually tried it with having different bunkers because we've actually got the same bunker, me and my friend who I'm getting it off. But if you can't get it to work, then I suggest buying the same bunker as your friend because that might be the deal breaker. Uh, anyway... I'm going to get into the glitch now. So basically, you're going to get your car stored inside your MOC. In this case, I've got a Fagio. Don't worry, you will not lose the vehicle that's stored inside your MOC. You're just using it to get glitched out. So as you can see here, I've got a Fagio. What you're going to do is invite your friend inside your bunker. Uh, and then he's going to jump on the back of your Fagio or in the passenger seat of your car or whatever. And you're going to pull up behind the MOC. Now, you're going to go ahead and join a friend in a different targeting mode. But, instead of joy spamming join game like we usually do on this situation, you're just going to press it once. Now, in this particular mm -hmm. instance, he's invited me rather than me joining. So, you're just going to hit join game once, and then you're going to wait, and you're going to time how long it takes before you get the session details up. Now, if you do this a couple of times, you'll get used to how long it takes. In my case, it took nine seconds. So around about five or six seconds, you're going to tell your friend who sat on the back of your bike, right, you go ahead and join somebody in a different targeting mode. And he is going to accept the first and deny the second alert very quickly. By this time, you're going to count up to nine or whatever it is. You're going to spam right D-pad. And as you'll notice here now, as we drive in, we're getting session details. I'm going to accept the first alert very quickly. And then just as we we're going up the ramp, I'm going to wait on this second alert. Now, by this time, your friend who's on the back of you or in the passenger seat of your car, he's already done the joint game, accepted the first, denied the second. So you're just going to wait on this screen just to make sure he's going to get kicked out of your bunker. Now, if once he's kicked out of your bunker, you can just deny this second alert. But what what will happen is your friend will get put into it default bunker there'll be no moc or anything in there he'll be able to walk around for about five or ten seconds and then he'll get kicked out once he gets kicked out he's going to tell you right okay i've been kicked out you're just going to deny this second alert now you'll either end up inside your moc as i did in this one i'm on my own uh, sometimes you might not even go into the moc sometimes it, you might have still stood in your bunker behind your moc don't worry about it as long as your friend gets kicked out of the default bunker, you've hit the glitch, you're good to go. So once you're in this situation, your friend is now going to call up CEO Buzzard or Oppressor or whatever, and he's going to make his way over to his own bunker. Because obviously he's going to be out on the map somewhere that's not his bunker. So he's going to fly over, go into, into his own bunker. Anyway, as soon as he arrives inside his bunker, he's going to send you an invite. So all you need to do at this point is bring up your phone and you're just going to accept his invite to bunker. Now, if all works well, it'll just send you straight inside his bunker as normal. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to jump on one of his bunker caddies. Now, he does need to have bunker caddies or else this won't work. And he's going to jump on the passenger seat and straight away he'll turn invisible. And he will be stuck on a black screen. So at this point, he's going to go ahead, join somebody in different targeting mode. He's going to accept the first alert. He's going to deny the second alert. 
and then he'll get put back down in the bunker like this. Now he's going to climb off the caddy. Now obviously with him being invisible, he's going to have to let you know once he's climbed off the caddy. So he's going to say, right, okay, I've climbed off the caddy now, you're good to go. So at that point, we're going to climb off the caddy and all we're going to do now is exit his bunker. As soon as we've exited his bunker, we're going to just walk back into our own bunker. Now obviously we've got the same bunker so it makes it a hell of a lot quicker. As I said earlier, I don't know if it actually works if you've got different bunkers, but there you go. So once you walk inside your own bunker, you'll notice that your friend's MOC and anti-aircraft trailer are sat inside here. Now, I'll tell you about a few issues with the anti-aircraft trailer later on. But if you look, he's got the flat-fronted MOC. Mine is the long nose one. But don't worry about it because the mods will still transfer. So anyway, at this point, all you're going to do is you're going to change something cosmetic. It does not matter what you change. I think in this one, I end up changing the window tints. And I end up changing plates, colour on the trailer. Like I say, it doesn't matter what you change. As long as you change a couple of cosmetic items, it's not an issue. Obviously, I didn't want to change the paint because it's got the 3D paint on it. So, But what we've got here is the menu for the anti-aircraft trailer hasn't popped up. And this is what I was on about earlier. If you haven't modified your anti-aircraft trailer, you won't be able to modify his to be able to keep his, if that makes sense. Because I've just bought my anti-aircraft trailer and it'll be completely stuck. So I wasn't getting the option to modify my his anti-aircraft trailer. So make sure you've modded your AA trailer before you start this, because otherwise you won't be able to keep his AA trailer. Anyway, once you've done a few cosmetic mods, you're just going to back out of the menu and you're just going to walk outside your bunker and request the MOC. Now, if you're transferring the anti-aircraft trailer as well, all you're going to do is the same thing pretty much, but as soon as you start modifying the anti-aircraft trailer, it's going to just kick you out of the menu to do so. And then that's it, then that's done. So at this point now, you'll notice I've got the long nose one look. But the mods from his flat nose one have transferred over. Look, I've got the high-end rims, I've got the 3D paint, so everything is working. And that is pretty much it, guys, to be honest. It's not a, a difficult glitch once you know how to do it. The only issues we were having is obviously on Xbox, it's a hell of a lot harder to hit. So once we've gone through the different processes of how to hit it every time on Xbox, I've actually done this two or three times since... And we've managed it every time. So, like I say, I was reluctant to even give this a go because after trying it for a couple of hours one night and it just wasn't working, I was just a bit unsure on it. But obviously now we've got it working, I'm very happy. Got myself a modded MRC. And like I say, there's no reason really why you can't transfer the anti-aircraft trailer as well. Just bear in mind, you need to modify your own anti-aircraft trailer first. It cannot be stock. You've got to modify your own anti-aircraft trailer first to be able to grab theirs. So, like I said, as soon as you start modding their anti-aircraft trailer, you'll get kicked out of the menu. That's a good sign. Just walk outside your bunker and request the anti-aircraft trailer, request the MRC, whatever you're doing, and that'll basically just save it. So, once you've done all that, all you're going to do now is find yourself a new session and you'll notice that everything sticks. So, I was a bit silly in this video. I actually bought the flat fronted cab and it got rid of all the mods on it. So, I had to do the transfer again. But, hey ho. But, anyway, guys, that's it from this video. I just wanted to give you a quick and simple Xbox method for this more than anything. Because, obviously, like I said earlier, a lot of them are PS4 based. But, if, you, if you've enjoyed the video, remember to stick a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Go follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.